Time travel has long been a captivating idea in science fiction, sparking the imaginations of many for generations. It's a concept that has also sparked extensive debates among physicists over the years. While the debate about traveling backward in time continues, scientists have definitively shown that traveling into the future is entirely possible. And no, you don't need a 1.21 gigawatt flux capacitor like in the movies. This real-time travel hinges on a concept called time dilation, which is a fundamental part of Albert Einstein's special theory of relativity. Einstein's theory explains how speed influences mass, time, and space. He was a pioneer who realized that time isn't a fixed, unchanging thing. Instead, it slows down relative to an observer's speed. In simpler terms, time can seem to move more slowly for someone traveling at the speed of light compared to someone who's not moving as fast. Astronauts in space actually experience this, they age more slowly than people on Earth. This understanding of spacetime is crucial for grasping the idea of time travel, and it all comes from Einstein's work. Einstein's general theory of relativity takes us deeper into this concept. He reimagined space as a flexible entity and came up with the term spacetime to describe how time and space are intertwined. Instead of thinking of space as a flat, rigid backdrop, he saw it as a curved arena. Think of it like a gravitational roller coaster around massive celestial bodies like planets, stars, and black holes. Gravity isn't just what keeps us grounded, it's also what bends the fabric of the universe, which Einstein called spacetime. This means that the farther an object is from a massive body, the faster time passes for that object. Einstein and physicist Nathan Rosen even explored black holes and theorized that the surface of a black hole could be a connection between two different parts of space. This theoretical idea became known as an Einstein-Rosen bridge or a wormhole. While wormholes are still in the realm of speculation, astronomers are actively investigating whether they could form in space. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. Hypothetically, a white hole could be the counterpart to a black hole. Instead of drawing everything in, it would emit light and matter. But creating a stable wormhole, one that stays open and can be traveled through, would require something called exotic negative matter. This mysterious substance would need to counteract the gravitational forces that would naturally close the tunnel. While we haven't observed negative matter in the universe, recent research suggests that a phenomenon called quantum entanglement might provide the exotic matter needed for this intriguing possibility. So, while time travel to the past might still be a topic of debate and science fiction, traveling to the future is a real and scientifically established concept, thanks to the brilliant insights of Albert Einstein and the fascinating world of spacetime. Wormholes are a fascinating concept, but they come with some significant challenges. You see, even if they do exist, their stability is a big question mark. They could collapse as soon as they form or get torn apart by the intense gravitational forces, making them impractical for any space shortcuts. These things might pop in and out of existence so quickly that we can't even detect them. Plus, the vastness of the universe makes finding and using wormholes a real headache. Think about the scenario in the movie Interstellar, where a wormhole near Saturn made time travel possible. In reality, getting to such a far-off place would need a crazy amount of what we call negative energy to keep the wormhole stable. And you'd also need a super-advanced spaceship to get there in a reasonable time. Right now, we humans don't have the tech for these kinds of missions. What's even trickier is that we don't know if traveling through a wormhole is safe or even doable. It's a bit like stepping into the unknown, we can't be sure if you'd make it out the other side, and the idea of a one-way trip raises some deep, philosophical questions. But here's the good news, traveling into the future isn't totally out of the question. It's super tough but not impossible. To make it happen, you'd need a whole bunch of energy and some serious speed. They've actually done experiments with something called the Large Hadron Collider that showed how time slows down for teeny tiny particles when they go super fast. But here's the catch, getting a spaceship to go that fast and have enough energy for time travel is a massive engineering problem. As we keep exploring time, gravity, and the universe, we're still in the dark about when we'll unlock the secrets of time travel and wormholes. We're basically waiting for those big aha moments in our understanding of the cosmos.